I might. You never know. Hey, live video here. Uh, there's I'm Mike Sedini. Uh, there's Raphael. I'm live. We're all live. We're at the uh, Eagle Imports booth, Avidity Arms uh, PD10. We've got uh, number 38 here, uh, Evolution, uh, with the trigger block safety. Finally got that in there working. We've got the little uh, rib right behind the uh, slide stop to help uh, keep people with larger hands from riding the slide and getting it uh, uh, not getting locked back. And uh, NESGW 2017, I actually have been surprised how many people who really are very well established in the industry and been around for a long time and buddies of mine that go to a lot of the shows, that are like, what's NESGW? No, I'm not going. What is that all about? Well, this is what it's all about. This is uh, NESGW is a show for wholesalers. It's really designed for people who are buyers, uh, for people who are distributors, uh, people buying, you know, 500 guns at a time, 400 parts at a time, 350 whatevers. Uh, so there's a lot of clothes booths that um, are completely blocked in where there's a lot of things that people won't see until SHOT Show, um, some embargoed information. There's really not a lot of media here. Um, and oh, Christina's watching. It's Christina's 22nd birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to my daughter. Uh, so it is, uh, it's, it's a lot of like booths like this, right? Where you see the booth is locked down. You really can't see anything. Uh, same thing here with Daniel Defense where it's locked down. You really can't see anything because these are the things that are going to be released at the SHOT Show 2018 in a lot of cases. And then other booths are wide open and you can see what's going on, especially some of the new companies. So a lot of new companies uh, that are trying to get traction with wholesalers or with uh, distributors, trying to get rep groups to pay attention to them. That's really what's going on here. So it's, it's kind of an insider show. Um, it's maybe what SHOT Show was like 15 or 20 years ago. And uh, it's uh, not a super busy show. Um, it gets a lot of time for people to spend. I spent some time with my Hollow Sun guys earlier. They have uh, some green stuff coming out. They've got titanium housings coming out. That's kind of cool. So we spent some time with them earlier talking to them about the new stuff. Um, this is a neat show to walk around because there are people that are, it's the first time you've seen their stuff, first time you've seen any of their uh, presence in the industry and they're, they're trying to gain traction. So it's kind of cool. Anybody have any uh, questions, throw them into the comments. Or if uh, there's some place in particular you want to go see, it's a relatively small show, so while I'm wandering around, I may walk by a booth that is of interest to you guys. Otherwise, I'll continue to ramble. What have I seen? Uh, Caracol is uh, that much closer to getting back on the market. Uh, oh, the Hudson's here. Hudson Manufacturing. They started uh, shipping their guns last week, which is kind of cool. I was over here. I uh, promised these guys I'd buy them a drink. Congratulations. So the Hudson is shipping now. They, sh they shipped their first guns last week. Say hi to Cole. And <laughs> Sai's not here. He's hiding from the camera somewhere. Um, so that was kind of cool seeing that they had actually started shipping. You know, one of the things is we are like, oh, you know, is that competition for the PD-10? Uh, not really, you know, not only are they different guns, but also I think especially in the market the way it is today, uh, as slow as things are for retail, it's really cool to see a new gun company start from scratch and launch. And obviously that's what we're trying to do with Avidity Arms as well. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know, what else is going on here? What do we got? I showed you the Daniel Defense booth. IWI is another one. It's completely locked down. Um, they've got everything kind of behind closed doors. Sky has a little open area and a little closed down area there. Uh, Ameriglow. Of course, we worked with Ameriglow for a number of years with the claw sights. Here's Rick. Hi, Rick. <laughs> Caught him eating some pretzels. Uh, but, you know, been working with them on the claw sights. Uh, matched up with the Loomis Square. Dave Spaulding works with them as well. Uh, doing the cap sights. Uh, I think who else? There's a bunch of other guys that have worked with Ameriglow over the years. Uh, what else we got running around here? Of course, it's not all tactical. We got some, you know, regular old reloading stuff and shotgun stuff. Here's Cimarron. Cimarron, of course, is a company that does all kinds of cool lever action, cowboy action type stuff. Got all the single action, beautiful little guns over here. That kind of fun. Not not our tactical normal stuff. And you know, honestly, like at Shot Show, I'm blowing by those booths so fast. I don't even know what's going on. But the uh, food, yes, I need to need to eat. Uh, I've been traveling. I don't have time to put on weight. Uh, but this show gives you an opportunity to stop in and talk to some of those companies that normally you wouldn't spend all that much time with. Uh, what else? Oh, Walther's up here. Walther's got some, uh, they're joining the game of uh, putting a red dot platform out there with uh, suppressor height sights and uh, threaded barrels. They're doing that with their PPQ. Uh, they've got the uh, PPS here. You know, one of the things I'm, I'm trying to figure out why I don't see more of these things in classes. Uh, the PPS is a great little gun. This is the M2, so it's got the kind of traditional magazine release. Uh, the backstrap issue, the interchangeable backstrap with the first generation, that's gone. So we were out here talking with these guys earlier about uh, some of the cool stuff that's going on. There's the gun I was talking about there with the 
suppressor barrel, threaded barrel, and the getting ready. Two four tack. This is uh, what you have three different platforms, four different platforms for optics. Uh, three, yeah. Uh, Trijicon, Leupold, and Doctor. All right, so there you go. See that? There's your exclusive uh, NESGW insider information from Walther. And uh, the Glock booth's all locked down there. They don't, they don't want to talk to anybody. You know, kind of typical. And uh, here we are back at uh, the Eagle booth with the Avidity uh, PD-10 Evolution. You can read more about it in, uh, what is this, Combat Handguns? Yes, Combat Handguns. Read about the Protect What You Love uh, ideas in uh, Concealed Carry Handguns. Hey, look, there's Mike again. Hey. Bye.